Earlier this year, as some of you may recall, we made a video about cleaning your room, and in seven short months, it's garnered over 250,000 views and more than 1,000 comments. Now, a thousand comments are a lot to go through, let alone reply to, as you know I like to do. So we've made this video you're watching right now as a reply to all of them. Basically, most of the comments on that video fall into one of three categories. Category one is full of positive comments that I love to hear, like, great video, this really helped me clean my room. To which we respond, thank you, we are so happy we could help. Category two is where the critical comments are, like, hey, you mixed up the before and after labels at the end of the video. To which I reply, hey, we apologize, and Chad has been punished accordingly. Category three is by far the largest category and is reserved solely for the comment, your room isn't even dirty, my room is way dirtier. It's true, my room is pretty clean to begin with, but consider this. The only difference between this room and a really dirty room is maintenance. Keeping your room clean on a daily basis is substantially easier than trying to do a massive cleaning every few weeks. And for those of you who say, cleaning your room every day, ain't nobody got time for that. Let me show you indeed how you do have time for that. And it all starts with your laundry. Most of the mess in most of our bedrooms comes from laundry being strewn about. And trust me, I know the feeling of coming home from a long day of doing something and all you want to do is get all of your clothes off your body, climb into bed and get on to the business of sleeping. But after a few days of doing this, laundry piles up and your whole room starts to look like disaster. I know you know what I'm talking about. So the simple solution is to use a hamper or a laundry basket and keep your dirty laundry in one place. Not only do you save time when you need to gather all your laundry together when you actually decide to do it, but it keeps the floor clear of socks, shirts, and your undercrackers. For clothing that you will wear again, hang your clothes up or put them in drawers. You can even leave hangers out on your bed in the morning to encourage this behavior when you get home. It really takes about eight seconds to do. I've gotten into the habit as well and it really helps. Make your bed. Make your bed every day. The process of making one's bed is not rocket surgery and it doesn't take long at all. In fact, I made a video about the ancient art of bed making which you can see right over here, but don't click it yet because we'll link it at the end of the video so you can finish watching this one first. Make tidying a habit. Yes, I can hear you all cringing now, I know. But really, you can do almost anything just for five minutes, can't you? So pick a song that you really like, that you know really gets you going, and play it. For the duration of that one song, tidy your room. One song's worth of tidying each day. That's all I'm suggesting. Remember that when tidying, everything has a place. So all you need to do is just put everything that's out of place back in place. And as with any habit, within 30 days of doing it, it's now a newly developed routine. And you're going to include it as part of your day. This is so worth the effort, I promise. Shared room, shared responsibilities. Let me repeat that. A shared room means shared responsibilities. So it's up to everyone who resides in that room to pitch in and help. Create a schedule that works for all parties and ideally clean at the same time. Use two laundry hampers instead of one, etc. Just make something up that works for you. But you may live with an unrelenting slob. You know who they are, and you can't change them. You can't even inspire them. That's their issue, which will stay with them until they decide to change. So give up the fight. All you can do is focus on you and what makes you feel good and happy. So if you do tidy and make it part of your day and your well-being, let me stress that, then you compile their items respectfully and let them deal with it on their own. Just do it. In a poll I recently made up, it was scientifically proven that small, easy jobs are way easier to tackle than big, overwhelming ones. I know it's true for me at least. I'd rather spend three minutes every day tending to my room than three hours of disaster recovery hell on any given Sunday. Now, of course, the bigger cleans do need to happen, but you'll find them much easier to do with this regular maintenance. And for those of you who commented in my last room cleaning video about how 
clean my messy room was, you will now know the feeling of how easy it is to clean a room that's actually been maintained. If you haven't seen it, check it out and we will link it at the end of this video. Do this bigger cleaning every couple of weeks and if you tidy in between, put your clothes away and make your bed daily, you will see a major difference in the cleanliness of your room. I bet you'll even impress yourself. If your room is a disaster zone, clean it thoroughly once and then commit to 30 days of making your bed daily, which takes two minutes, tidying, which takes five minutes, and putting your clothes away each day. Three simple things, and that will take you under eight minutes each day to do. At the end of those 30 days, you will notice that your room has never looked better. And the best part is, if you need any motivation, you can always come back to this video and remind yourself why you're doing it. If you are going to give this a go for 30 days, take a photo and share it with us on Facebook and let us know how it's going because everybody needs some motivation and your photos really help others. That way we show people that anybody and everybody can do it and we make this totally accessible to the whole world. It's amazing. If you like the video, there's a button down there that lets us know you care. Don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking that button to catch the latest in cleaning news. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.